Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back today with more needle books. I want to put the sewing machine away, so I tried to make about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight, I have nine all together, and I'll probably make up one more batch before my craft show, and that's at the end of the year in November. Um, but I had fun with them, and it was definitely something different for me. Um, the Getting the sewing machine out again was really great. Um, I have a problem with embellishing. I like to put, I just keep adding stuff. So I really had to control myself because like to sell them, you just want them to look cute. You don't want them to get, you don't want to put too much on there because that's your overhead too. You know, like I have to pay for all that stuff. So like the first couple I did were a little too plain for me. Um, I don't even like this one. I, I know someone will, but I personally don't. But that's the thing about um, painting anything, all the crafts that I do. Um, I don't always love everything I make. I like to, but I have to remember that someone else may love it. Like everyone's tastes are different. So, um, but this one I really liked the colors. Like that was really what attracted me. This one, I love the trims and stuff. And it's just very simple. So someone will definitely like that. Um, and then I showed you guys my favorite. This one's mine. And I have my little um, needles and things in here. Uh, and I will keep this one for myself. But I tend to like more color. I was going, trying to go with the monochromatic. And I did end up doing that quite a bit on these other ones I'm going to share. So let me get to them. Um, I made a couple of purple ones. And basically, all the construction is the same. Um, I used my dollar trims from um, Michaels. I'm going to just raise this up a little bit so I can get a better. Um, and these are all the dollar trims. And these are not a great quality. I'm finding out a lot about trims and things. I don't have a lot. And I, I only just placed my first order um, and received my first order from Gisela. She's um, Lavish Laces. So... I don't know if you can see that, but I still have another order out there, and the stuff I got back from them, it's just a different quality. It's a better quality, and so I see what everyone loves about um, shopping at Etsy and um, online and all that stuff. Um, what's the other place? That other Zibit, the Zibit stores and things. But for this, I just worked with what I had um on hand and I generally buy most of my things at my local craft stores. So, um, and actually that's Michael's, Joann's, AC Moore and stuff, not even lo local scrapbooking stores. Um, I only have one that's not that close, so I don't go very often. Anyway, I ended up um, keeping them pretty much the same. I wanted to use these um, felt roses that I made and I made these with the Tim Holtz dye um, and I really like, my dog wants to go out. I really like um, these roses. Like I just am very happy with how they turned out. So um, I figured I just want to do, I want to keep it with things, uh, embellishments pretty much that I made is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then these, just these little tiny um, fabric flowers that you can get. I think they're like in the wedding department. And then some of these, these are actually in the button department. But for the most part, the construction is all the same on these. I did um, the pockets on the front and back cover. And because I didn't have the big laces to make the pockets, I made my pockets with a little bit of fabric backed with just um, a lace. It's actually a panel that I had. It's not, it's from Joann's. It's not like a, an old curtain or anything. Um, and then each page has a little bit of extra felt to, so that you can stick things in there and um, have a little bit um, of room to, to stick the pins. So each page is pretty much the same in all these books. I kind of just kept it the same so that I, when I was making them, I could just easily, quickly make them up. So, But I'm really loving how these roses. So that's my first purple one. And then this is the other purple one. And I just, I had these flowers in my stash, so, and then this is actually a paper flower. So I, this is the first time I used a paper flower, and I like it on there. I mean, I think it, um, it matches its color, the color, and it's not like, 
it is hard, but it's it's not it doesn't take away from um, the fabricness of the piece, you know, if you know what I mean. And I love this. I add a little dragonfly here. It's like just one of those um, little blingy dragonflies. So I, again, I just tried to keep it real simple. I do the binding with um, trims and stuff like that, and then just put stuff around. And again, the same. Um, basic on the inside. Oh, I didn't, I gotta put that aside and put my pockets. I knew there was one that I hadn't put pockets on and I have this one that I gotta finish too. I have to add um, elastic because I forgot to put my ties on it. So I have to make a belly band for that one. So um, I do have to finish those up, but they're basically the same on the inside. So those are my two purples. Then this is my other pink and brown. I used the brown lace that I had. Um, and pink and brown, I love pink and brown together. So um, again, just more of my felt flat, my felt roses and just some more little fabric flowers to fill in. So I calmed down a little bit. I tried to, like I just put three. So there's three, three, let's see, and four, you know. So I'm trying not to get carried away. Like I just kept putting them on this. I had to stop myself. Like it's just hard for me. I don't know why I, I keep, <laughs> embellishing like even this it didn't really need the bow but I like the bow on there so I don't know but I love pink and brown together such a pretty combination so that's a pink and brown and the backs are all just plain I didn't do anything to the backs and then this is a light blue and white I didn't have a lot of blue embellishments um, so I had the seam binding, so I used that as my tie, and I just went with white and cream flowers for this. I, c I probably could have made a blue flower, but I wanted it to be a little contrasting, so, um, I just went with white and cream, and I had, oh, and I like this little butterfly button. They were very cute little embellishments. I put a little, uh, bow down here, so I tried to keep it more simple, and I like these little, oh, here's another one of those paper flowers, and these are just, I, I want to say from the $1.50 bin, I really do buy a lot of embellishments at, um, in those dollar bins and things like that, just to play with, um, then I did, this one is black and gold, or black and white it started out with, and then I just had some gold trims, and I just figured, all right, let me bling it up. I really like this cameo, and these are buttons. It's a button pack that you buy. So I had that, and I just, I made this out of um, the lace that goes around here, but I didn't have any more black. So I think this one turned out pretty cute. Someone will like it. And I have a pocket in here with the gold trim, and... You know, so it's the same thing inside, just with a little bit of gold and white and black um, embellishments. And then the last one is red and black. And I know people love red and black, and I probably could make another one, couple one of these. People love red, but this one's really pretty with the red and black. I don't have a lot of red embellishments other than like I have these um, silk rosebuds, and that's about it. But um, I had plenty of black, so I played with that. And I like them. I think they're they're really someone's gonna want to give these as a gift. I think at, at uh, the holidays. So I was happy to find these, and um, I I really like how they turned out. But I'm just keeping them like this. And I, I need more embellishments, I guess, of like the really lace ones, like the crocheted lace and doilies. But I don't really know where to find them. Well, on Zibit and um, Etsy and stuff. So. It's just going to take me a minute to collect up a few things and then um, use them. But I think these are turning out pretty cool um, the way I've done them. So that's it, guys. I'm going to put these away now. And I have some altered projects that are in the works. So um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.